Guatemala and Thailand have had a history of HIV and AIDS due to sex trafficking. Suppose Guatemala and Thailand were to initiate talks and mobilize each other's resources to start programs to increase HIV and AIDS awareness. This would be known as binational collaborations, otherwise known as international health. Now suppose the U.S. hears about these startup programs and wants to help. They would mobilize their resources to initiate even more grassroots organizations to both Guatemala and Thailand. Now more than two countries are involved. This promotes health equity among more than two nations, also known as global health. It's not just international health, it's global health. A lot of college students face the problem of getting wasted. But around the world, another big problem is wasting. It isn't classified by alcohol, but classified by malnutrition, not getting enough nutrients. Wasting is classified as a low weight to age ratio. Just like this. Wasting involves a lot of physical weakness and results in very skinny people. Another form of malnutrition is called stunting. Like wasting, it has very detrimental effects, but this one involves stunting of the height, causing a low ratio between age and height. Now on the other side of the malnutrition spectrum, we have obesity, which is caused by years of overconsumption but not receiving enough nutrients. You are what you eat. You can turn it from a Big Mac into a really morbidly obese human, causing many other health complications. But fortunately, with a lot of collaborations between multiple countries and a lot of non-governmental organizations, we can take a slice out of the public health problem and turn it into fruitful future. It's not rocket science, it's global health. What can Brown do for you? Let's look at the big three, the three diseases that affect a large amount of people around the world. Let's start with tuberculosis. Tuberculosis is an airborne disease that typically affects the lungs. It killed over 1.5 million people last year. Say she had tuberculosis. What happened to cough on this poor little guy right here? He would start suffering from symptoms such as chronic cough, night sweats, and fever. There is a vaccine available for tuberculosis, and it's called the BCG vaccine. Moving on to malaria, it killed over 1 million people last year in Africa. It is commonly transmitted from a mosquito that has malaria, and symptoms of malaria include fever and cough. To prevent getting a Getting bit from a mosquito with malaria, make sure to wear mosquito repellent and long sleeves if you're having to go outside. And to conclude, we have HIV, which stands for Human Immunodeficiency Virus, which killed 1.6 million people last year. This virus is the progressive failure of the immune system, and it is commonly transmitted through blood, semen, or vaginal fluid. You have to practice safe sex methods in order to in order to avoid HIV because there is no cure for it. These are the three big diseases of global health.
I don't know how to stop recording. <laughs> <laughs>